Welcome to part one of my tutorial on AutoCAD layers. Now I suspect that this video will be fairly popular. Layers is something I'm often asked about and for some reason it does cause confusion although it's actually a fairly simple topic in AutoCAD. You can see I have an architectural drawing here lots of different colors and the colors are used at the moment to represent different layers so you can see the walls are different color to the stairs to the beams to these roof lights to the windows and it helps me to differentiate the different information I think one of the areas of confusion that arises with AutoCAD layers is that they're not actually layers if you've worked with graphic programs like Photoshop for example there you are using literal layers you're stacking objects one on top of another like pancakes on a plate in AutoCAD it's different the layers are simply different categories of objects within your drawing. There are two reasons we have layers. One is to control visibility, so you can switch things on or off. And the second is you can apply different properties, so things like a dashed line type, for example, or a different color. To access your layers, you click on this button over here, which takes you through to your layer manager. If you're working on the newer ribbon layout, you'll need to go to your layers panel here and click on the little button at the top left. So whether you're working in the new layout or classic like me here, you'll find the graphics are exactly the same. Shouldn't find any problem navigating around. Let's open this up. There are all my layers. If I want to create a new layer, I simply use this button over here or simply right click inside and from the contextual menu choose new layer. Let me take you through these fields here. Now we have a choice on our layers to switch off or back on or we can freeze and thaw. Now very confusingly switching off or freezing will do exactly the same thing to your layer. It'll make it invisible. The difference though is that it does it to a different degree. Now I'm going to deal with this in part two of the layers tutorial. So if you're interested in that, in the difference between the two, have a look at that video. You're able to lock a layer, which makes the information on that layer read only, prevents you from accidentally deleting or moving or making any change to that information. Colors. We click on here. We have a choice of colors. Like with the on and off and freeze and thaw, this is quite a complex issue or can be. So I'm going to deal with that in part three of the tutorial. Line types. You'll have continuous by default. If I click on continuous over here, it brings up my line type selector. There are currently only three different line types to choose from here in the drawing. If I wanted more, I'd need to click on load and it would take me through to the line type menu. Now you can see there are a lot here and I would recommend to any new AutoCAD user to make yourself familiar with them and I would estimate that most people could get away with less than 10 uh, possibly even less than 5 for most of the drawings that you need to create. I do have a separate video on line types if nobody has ever worked with them before, if anybody has never worked with them. Line weights, this usually boils down to personal choice and experience as to what line thickness you would assign to each layer. If you're unsure about this, also speak to your CAD manager at work or somebody who perhaps has a set of CAD protocols as to what needs to be assigned to each layer. Transparency, which is something fairly new in AutoCAD. If you're working simply on wireframe drawings, you're probably never going to need to use transparency. If you're wanting to apply transparency to things like solid hatches or if you're working in 3D, then this becomes useful. We're able to make drawings non-printable. If I click on this printer icon, it sets that layer as non-printable. I'll still see the information on screen, but it won't end up on the final print. Where this is typically useful is on viewports. Most people don't want to see the outline of their viewport and uh, by having a separate viewport layer and making it non-printable solves that problem. Just be cautious with this one. Very often 
that little printer icon is just out of view on your layer manager. Make sure that the manager is always well expanded so that you can see which layers have been set to non-printable. Sometimes these are accidentally set and uh, it's where you see people panicking in the print room just before a deadline. We're also able to set a layer to be frozen in any new viewport that gets created. You may not get to use this one much. Description. This is a bit of a legacy one. In days gone by, we used to be restricted to the number of characters we could have as part of the layer name. So description was quite important. Nowadays, we can include as many as we like. And so description is not as important. Having said that, though, it may be useful in some situations to add extra information in this description field. Just taking a look at my drawing here. If I wanted to freeze off some information, making it uh, invisible, let's say everything overhead, so things like the beams and also the roof lights, we'll just drop down the layer control here. Roof lights, I'll freeze off, and the beams freeze off as well. As I said in part two, I do deal with how to freeze off and switch off and the difference between the two. If I click back in the screen here, you can see that that's gone. We also have level information, which I can switch off as well. And now I'm left with a plan free of any overhead information. So there's probably the major benefit of your layers, the ab ability to, to um, control visibility. So that takes us to the end of part one. If you're interested in more, especially to do with the colors and the on and off, I will also deal with layer states then please take a look at the additional videos.